The Vietnam War highlighted a need for change in the US Air Force. The heavy, complex fighters of the time struggled in agile dogfights. A group of pilots and engineers known as the Fighter Mafia emerged. This group advocated for a new approach. They believed in lightweight, maneuverable fighters. These fighters would prioritize agility over sheer size and firepower. The Fighter Mafia's ideas gained traction. Their influence led to the lightweight fighter LWF program. This program challenged aircraft manufacturers to design a new breed of fighter jets. These jets would be less expensive and more maneuverable. The goal was to create a fighter that could outperform the enemy in close-range combat. The LWF program sparked a competition between two aerospace giants. General Dynamics presented the YF-16. Northrop countered with the YF-17. Both aircraft were technological marvels. They incorporated innovative design elements. These included fly-by-wire controls and blended wing-body designs. These features enhanced maneuverability and reduced weight. After rigorous testing, the Air Force selected the YF-16. The YF-16 would become the F-16 Fighting Falcon. This was a pivotal moment in aviation history. The F-16 proved the effectiveness of the lightweight fighter concept. It became a workhorse for the US Air Force. While the YF-16 won the Air Force contract, the YF-17 possessed unique qualities. The Navy, facing its own set of challenges, saw untapped potential. Their aging F-4 Phantom jets were nearing retirement. They needed a modern carrier-capable replacement. The YF-17, with its twin-engine design, seemed like a good fit. The Navy recognized the inherent strengths of the YF-17 design. The twin engines offered increased safety and power. This was crucial for carrier operations where engine failure could be catastrophic. Moreover, the YF-17's airframe had room for modifications. This made it adaptable for the Navy's specific requirements. Section 4, Transformation into the Hornet. Northrop, seizing the opportunity, partnered with McDonnell Douglas. Their goal was to adapt the YF-17 for carrier operations. The result was a remarkable transformation. The YF-17 evolved into the FA-18 Hornet. This new fighter was larger and more robust. It featured strengthened landing gear, folding wings and a tail hook for carrier landings. The Hornet retained the agility and maneuverability of its predecessor. It incorporated advanced avionics and weapon systems. This made it a versatile multi-role fighter. The FA-18 could engage in air-to-air -air combat, conduct bombing missions and provide close air support. It was a true testament to the adaptability of the original YF-17 design. Section 5, A Legacy of Innovation. The FA-18 Hornet exceeded expectations. It quickly became the backbone of the US Navy's fighter fleet. The Hornet served with distinction in conflicts around the world. Its success solidified the legacy of the YF-17. It demonstrated the importance of innovation and adaptability in military technology. The story of the YF-17 is a reminder that sometimes setbacks can lead to unexpected triumphs. The YF-17's journey from Air Force rejection to Navy acceptance is a testament to the power of adaptation, the importance of recognizing potential, and the enduring pursuit of excellence in engineering. The FA-18 Hornet stands as a symbol of American ingenuity and naval aviation prowess.